Hello everyone! So I just quickly wanted to show what it is like to do machine learning on this new M1 chip Apple recently introduced. So I have this MacBook Air here and I ran a bunch of machine learning tasks to just see how it works, how it compares and uh, I just wanted to put it out there. So we will actually do three different things here. First, we will ask, can we just run TensorFlow on these new Macs? And can we only use the CPU? Or can we also access the GPU or even the neural engine they have in their chips? And second, how do these machine learning tasks perform on the M1? So we'll just test it against other devices and uh, see how it runs. And then third, you would expect that a machine without a fan, it should throttle after a while, right? Like if you do intense machine learning on these, then uh, at some point you should see a slowdown. So we will see if that happens. So when I started installing everything and I tried to install NumPy, I just got this error message here, which I think I eventually solved. But then I tried to install TensorFlow and uh, I got this error telling me that it's not even available on this platform. But then I found this little uh, fork of TensorFlow that Apple released and that introduced this hardware acceleration into their M1 and, and even Intel-based Macs through this new ML compute framework. And this framework is kind of nice because it doesn't only uh, allow you to just use TensorFlow on these new um, M1 chips, but actually also to make use of the GPU inside. So we can run on the CPU and the GPU, but uh, this already indicates that we will not be able to use the neural engine on uh, TensorFlow, sadly. But other than that, everything works pretty well. So we can just, for example, run this feedforward network here on the CPU, and uh, we will see that four of the cores will be used. So we have core, right now, core four, five, six, and eight are the performance cores, and the other ones are just the, the efficiency cores. And it seems like this one and these act this activity here is from the recording software right now, because right now I'm recording on the screen. Later for the test, I will record with a camera. But yeah, that's how it looks um, to just run on the CPU. So if I cancel this, let's run the CNN here, this one, on the GPU and see how it will be uh, executed. So the network architecture actually decides which, uh, whether it's faster on the CPU or on the GPU in this case. Uh, you can see now how the GPU gets like flushed with, with um, activity. And you still have the activity down here in the in the performance course. So now we can see if we stop this and run the same thing on the CPU. And we already see it is a little bit slower. All right, so now it's almost finished. So we see 48 seconds instead of 30 seconds what we get what we got on the GPU. But the GPU is not always faster. So if we run the Feed forward neural network on the GPU, we will see that it's actually two minutes and 50 seconds, the estimated time. So as we can see, if we run on the GPU, then we actually use a lot of memory because you know the GPU and the CPU, they share the same memory on these M1 chips. And actually this is true, right? So here we have six gigabytes, almost six gigabytes of memory used. And if you already have a lot of memory used, like I have right now, then this might be the difference. Like you will get over the eight gigabyte mark, of course. So this, this might be important to you um, if you run a lot of convolutional neural networks. So now that we know that we can run on the CPU and the GPU, we will just run these two networks on some other devices here and see how the new MacBook Air actually does in comparison.
So in order to answer the last question, whether running this hardware accelerated TensorFlow over longer periods of time can actually throttle this MacBook Air that doesn't have a fan, I was training the feed forward network for about two and a half hours, which amounts to like half the battery. And as you can see in this sped up clip here, there was no slowdown during the whole duration. So this might be because there's only the four performance cores used and those are actually only used about 50%, right? Which might be the reason that it does not throttle because there's other tasks that you can do, like for example exporting a video that definitely increase the thermal pressure in this machine which you can see in the bottom left corner here, the thermal pressure never goes above nominal, right? And I've seen when you export a video for about 30 minutes then you might get a heavy pressure level here, which then probably means that it slows down. I also did the same test running the convolutional network for the GPU, and this one raised the pressure level from nominal to medium, but also no slowdown was uh, visible. So according to this testing, it seems that you can run your machine learning tasks for a very long duration before you experience any slowdowns on these MacBook Airs. Yeah, so that's it, um, and thanks for watching.